Welcome back. A nasty stomach bug spreading across the country. Indeed it is. It's uh, infecting around 315 patients in 15 states and sending at least 18 to the hospital. The Centers for Disease Control is trying to track down the source of the outbreak, possibly linked to a tiny parasite. Dr. Ernest Patty is a senior attending physician of the emergency medicine at St. Barnabas Hospital in the Bronx. He joins us now. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Heather. Yeah, this is a disturbing trend right here. We're talking about cyclosporidium? Cyclospora, yes. Spora. Okay. Cyclospora, it's a uh, one-celled parasite that causes uh, these terrible intestinal symptoms. And uh, people get very fatigued. Uh, they almost look like flu or viral-like symptoms as well. But uh, you have a decrease in your appetite. You can get uh, weight loss because you're taking less in. Because, uh, to be quite honest, it's coming out way too quickly. <laughs> and uh, you That's know these, these people wind up very, very ill. And uh, 18 of them, actually, we've had 18 deaths throughout the 15 states. Wow. So when you mentioned the, the deaths, how do you know if you have just a basic stomach flu, having a stomach issue, or you have this? Because it sounds like with this, you need to be treated by a doctor or go to the hospital. Well, yes, it's tough to tell the difference. With this particular infection, uh, we do stool specimens, and they have to be done and uh, tested for in a in particular lab. Your doctor can do this. It's quite easy to do. Uh, but like any other stomach bug, if you're getting severely dehydrated, if you're running high fevers and you're getting so weak that you can't do your normal activities, then you really should seek uh, uh, you know, help by your physician. If you've been to any areas where this is endemic, uh, foreign countries, tropical and subtropical, those are uh, highlights as well. Well, I want to be clear about this, though. There have been 18 people hospitalized that we know of so far. Uh, not 18 people have died, but if oh, the forgive symptoms, forgive me, I'm sorry. I, if I the symptoms uh, go untreated, it can lead to fatalities. Is that is that what you're saying? Oh, it definitely can. For those people with weak immune systems uh, and people who have other comorbidities, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, things like that, people in chemotherapy, this could really affect them uh, in a terrible way and and make them profoundly ill. Mm. And what precautions can someone take to avoid getting this? Basically, the most important things you could remember, common sense issues, especially if you're uh, eating produce. See, they think it's linked to produce that is imported to this country. That's what previous outbreaks have, have shown them, although they don't know for certain. So the best thing is proper handling of, and of your fruits and vegetables, proper washing of them uh, when you prepare food, and also uh, remember when you're eating out, you know, you want to eat at reputable establishments. Sure. You know, when I travel, and even here in the United States, I, I don't always uh, enjoy drinking something cold with ice in it because I'm not aware of what could be on that ice. That is a great point because the ice is probably made from water that's locally obtained. It's not going to be bottled water that they make the ice in and occasionally that water could be contaminated with not just cyclospora, maybe with other pathogens that can cause gastrointestinal disturbance. So that's another tip for people out there. Make sure you just get whatever your drink is. Get it without the ice. Yeah. Excellent tip. I had not thought of that at all, but thank you both for Excellent. that tip. Um, yeah. So is it possible to have this without symptoms? Some people don't get symptoms and those uh, they don't know why. It's but some people's immune systems fight it off really well. But the majority of people will get symptoms, and they don't occur right away. Usually it takes about a week for you to develop symptoms. Okay. The key is if you're feeling fatigued, get some help. If you're feeling fatigued and you're having these gastrointestinal ills and they're not getting any better, you definitely should see your doctor or go to the nearest uh, emergency room. And they can yeah. cure it. Yes, we take uh, we s give a simple antibiotic that you take, and uh, it'll eradicate it. Dr. Ernest Patty, always good of you to join us. Thank, Thank you, you so much for having me. Thank All you. Right.